What makes the Alton Towers Resort one of the best days out in the UK is that there is such a variety of things to do. There's the rides, the roller coasters, live shows, entertainment, walkthrough attractions, restaurants, I could go on. But let's just say there are plenty of experiences to check out. But along with everything you can do, there's also some things that you can't do due to safety precautions and park rules and regulations. So to save you scrolling through the website at all the terms and conditions, I'm here to break it all down for you and tell you the different things that you cannot do at the Alton Towers Resort. Now up first is a rule that guests, including myself, find the most annoying when people don't comply. Smoking is strictly prohibited across the park. I'm not just talking about in queue lines or inside buildings, I mean everywhere other than the designated smoking areas which are marked out on the park map. Alton Towers is a family park and also a very well maintained park, so this smoking ban is in place to stop the littering of cigarette ends. You might not know this, but smoking causes environmental pollution too. The toxic chemicals in the residues seep into soils and waterways, thereby causing soil and water pollution. So prohibiting smoking across the park helps stop littering as well as protecting the plants and vegetation from the environmental issues smoking causes. But if you do smoke, then there are 18 designated areas across the park. You're never far away from one of these areas, so be sure to check the park map to find the closest one to you. And please, don't smoke in the queue lines, because it is never nice for the guests around you. Now you're probably aware that your two-year-old child won't be able to ride Oblivion, but do you know the minimum and maximum height requirements for each coaster and ride? If not, let's go through them all. So for most of the rides and attractions in CBB's land, there are either no restrictions, or if you're under one metre tall, then you have to be accompanied by an adult. This is the same for the ride Jewel, however you have to be 1.1 metres tall to ride unaccompanied by an adult. For the attraction Go Jetta's Vroomster Zoom Ride, you have to be 1.25 metres or over to ride without an adult, and for the Frog Hopper, Octonauts Roller Coaster, Battle Galleons and the Runaway Mine Train, you have to be 1.1 metres or over to ride without an adult. Just before we move on to the big coasters, for the pirate ship The Blade, Marauder's Mayhem and the Congo River Rapids, you have to be 1.3 metres to ride without an adult. So for the coasters The Wicker Man, Spimble Wizard and 13, you have to be 1.2 metres or taller to ride. For Spimble Wizard and 13, there's also a maximum height limit of 1.96 metres. Finally, for those big coasters which are Nemesis, The Smiler, Galactica, Rita and Oblivion, there is a minimum height limit of 1.4 metres and Rita has a maximum height limit of 1.95 metres. These rules are there for your safety and also are legal requirements. Alton Towers are really strict on this and will always measure your child if they think they're not tall enough. There is the option to pick up a wristband at the start of your day, which shows your child is tall enough for those big coasters, but in all honesty, I find them quite pointless, as they'll still usually double check before they go on the ride. Unlike the height restrictions, this next rule isn't a worldwide legal requirement, but it's one the Tolton Towers and other Merlin Parks have in place for safety. No matter how big or small, Alton Towers don't allow you to bring bags onto the rides. For the coasters, they don't even allow those small bags that attach around your waist. If you visit parks like the Disney parks for example, you're able to bring bags onto the rides with you, even on the coasters with inversions like Rock and Roller Coaster and Hyperspace Mountain. But Alton Towers is different, but honestly I much prefer this over going through loops and corkscrews while desperately holding onto a bag in between my feet. The park do have lockers around the park in each of the different areas, so be sure to take advantage of these. It's only £5 to hire out a regular locker for the day, and £10 for a large locker. Alton Towers is a huge park, it's 910 acres, that's around 690 football fields. So in all honesty, you won't want to be carrying around a bag with you all day anyway. So consider using a locker. And if you do want to keep your bag with you throughout the day, then there are baggage holders at each attraction. But just keep in mind that these are unattended, and any items are left at your own risk. 
Now this next rule is a big one, which Alton Towers and other Merlin parks take very seriously. 10 or so years ago, this wasn't such a big problem, but now in 2022, pretty much every guest that enters the park has a camera device in their pocket. Filming and taking photos, which would be very hard to do upside down on Nemesis, is strictly forbidden on every ride and attraction. This is due to safety, especially with mobile phones, as they can easily fall out of your hand on the coasters and hit another guest. You may think, why do they just not allow filming on the big coasters? Or why can I not use a camera with a wrist strap or even a GoPro which is mounted onto you? Well, if they were to do this, it would make the rules much more difficult to enforce and make operations much slower, as the ride operators would need to check the cameras were actually safe to use on the ride. Whereas if they just ban filming altogether on the rides, it just makes things much easier. The park are very strict on this, and even just last week when I was at the park, I was on one of the Retro Squad rides roller disco, and they stopped us halfway through the ride to kick someone off for filming. They take it very seriously, so when you're at the park, just keep that in mind, as it could result in you being kicked out and banned from the park. I just need to point out that it's only the rides that you can't film on. Feel free to take photos and videos anywhere else around the park. I of course do this for the channel, and it would be pretty hard to make videos about Alton Towers if I couldn't film anywhere. One thing you're not allowed to do is take photos or videos in the park to be sold or used for commercial or public use. But as long as they're for private use, or even for YouTube like I do, it's all good. But yeah, save yourself from being banned and losing your phone, and just don't film on the rides. Instead, stick to taking some awesome off-ride shots. Now, I'm not going to go into the different reasons why bringing a sword to Alton Towers is a pretty bad idea. There are some items which are deemed unsafe which are obvious, but if you are unsure if you can bring your item into Alton Towers, then go check on their website where they have a full list. But I'm here to tell you the items which may not be so obvious. Glass bottles are one of the main items you're not allowed to bring into the park. If you drop them, they'll smash and possibly cause an injury. Bringing in alcohol is also a big no-no, and on top of that, anyone that tries to enter the park visibly intoxicated will be refused entry without the right to a refund. And obviously, illegal substances aren't allowed either. Skateboards, rollerblades, scooters, and also drones aren't allowed inside the park. This is another rule put in place for guest safety, and flying drones can cause all sorts of issues. Although all these items aren't allowed, you can bring in food and packed lunches and non-glass bottled drinks. By doing this, you'll actually save quite a lot of money when you're in the park, so it's worth considering it. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I've never really thought about bringing my cat to Alton Towers before, but if you are thinking about bringing your pet, then stop right there, because unfortunately, they're not allowed. The only pets allowed inside the park are guide dogs, hearing dogs, and assistance dogs. But please note that they will not be allowed on the Smiler, of course due to the height restrictions we spoke about earlier. It's also worth pointing out that if you bring your pets to the resort and keep them locked in your car, Alton Towers reserve the right to contact local authorities in relation to any animals that are left unsupervised or found in to be in any distress. So just don't bring them. I know Alton Towers is a park, but it's not the type of park that your dog will be interested in. Finally, this is one that not everybody knows about, but you think would be included in your entry ticket. And that is that you have to buy a separate ticket to enter the Alton Towers dungeon. In March 2019, this new attraction opened in the park, and I personally really enjoy it. If you've never done it before, then I would definitely recommend checking it out. But it will cost you £8 per person if you book in advance, and £10 per person if you book on the day. There used to be the option to book half price dungeon tickets online if you were a Merlin annual pass holder, but now you have to book them when you're at the resort. So pass holder tickets will cost £5 per person. Seeing as you can gain access to other dungeon attractions across the UK as part of your annual pass, I'm not too sure why there is an additional charge for pass holders for the Alton Towers dungeons. It's a great experience though, and a really good one if you're visiting with family. I love all the actors at Alton Towers, they do amazing work all year round in different areas, and the actors in the dungeons are no different. 
so be sure to check it out sometime on one of your visits to the park but just keep in mind that you will need to pay that a little bit extra for your entry ticket. So these are some of the things that you cannot do at Alton Towers. If you can think of any other restrictions, then be sure to leave them down in the comments below for other viewers to check out. Some of these rules are put in place for your safety to make sure every guest that enters the park has an enjoyable day out. So be sure to leave your pet parrot at home, put your phone back in your pocket when you go on those coasters, and never smoke in the queue lines. Finally, if you did enjoy watching this video, then be sure to go check out some of my other videos, such as things to avoid at Alton Towers in 2022, UK theme park money saving tips, or go check out some of my vlogs. And if you enjoy watching those videos, then consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell, because there is plenty more theme park and adventure content to come on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.